Good morning. Today is September the 2nd um, and we're going to be headed off to Animal Kingdom. I'm hoping the lens isn't foggy. It probably is. Um, but it's nice and early in the morning. It's like 7, 10 in the morning or something. Um, and I'm headed to the bus. Animal Kingdom opens at 8 o'clock. So we're going to head over there. They keep sending us with these like giant charter buses, which I have mixed feelings about. First off, they do feel a lot safer for COVID. So. That's great, and they're a lot bigger and hold a lot more people, um, but they definitely do not have that Disney feel to it. <laughs> Feels like off-site style. A little busier than when we were here um, first the other day, first in the park. That's okay, I expected it to be. They have up the 50th anniversary DAC posters. I don't remember if these were here the other day, but they look good. They really go well with the theming. And there, of course, is the gorgeous Tree of Life. So the sign said Navi River Journey doesn't open until 8, which isn't for another 20 minutes. And apparently, Flight of Passage is only a 15 minute wait right now. So we're gonna walk down and see if Navi River Journey is open, and if it's not, we're just gonna head to Flight of Passage. So good. Flight of Passage is absolutely amazing every single time. It did take about 25 minutes um, just because I did get stuck behind a very, very, very slow walker going through the queue. That just means that the River Journey is open now um, and free for us to go to. So not too bad. Flight of Passage was literally walk on probably because it took me longer than 15 minutes to walk through the queue. Um, but that's okay. By the way, it is still at 15 minutes and it's like quarter after eight now. Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. I'm gonna go see if we can see my friend, little baby Grace. Some monkeys way up at the top there. family is not out yet there is a new another there is another new baby I learned which I didn't know about which is super exciting um, but they should be out in about an hour or so so uh, we might have to come back I love all little pretty hidden spots where you can go to see the tree of life might have to come back here because the this is the best soft serve in Disney World and let's do Everest single rider isn't open today so we have to actually walk through the queue which I haven't done in a hot minute Okay, so I got the Yeti Sunday, and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try it. The best soft serve. That Sunday was absolutely delicious. Like, not quite as good as getting Dole Whip, but still so, 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 so good. Okay, let's go get that. But do be careful because the closer you are, the closer you are to the splash zone. Oh no, that's Callie. Not one day you might be able to see a sky that is filled with macaws. But that's what you're right here
show is starting in about 10 minutes and I was kind of near it so I decided to come on over. Um, it starts in about four minutes now. So uh, I haven't seen this since my, since 2019 I don't think. So check it out. You get a one, two, three. Lots of cool birds and stuff. Um, we're gonna head over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which, as we know, is my favorite place to go. And just a couple minutes away, we're gonna try to do the 12:15 drawing class, so we can make it there in time. So here is my tuk-tuk from Raya and the Last Dragon that we just drew. I don't think it looks too terrible. Apparently he's like one of the hardest characters that you draw here, so I don't think I did too bad. His one foot's a little strange, but all in all, pretty good. And of course, while we're here, we're gonna pay a visit to some of my favorite animal friends. Much, much, much later. Okay, so I just went up with my friend Angela really quickly and we rode safari together. Um, she's with her boyfriend, so I didn't want to interrupt them too long and I wanted to let them have their time together. She is on the CP, so she was good to see them much, so I let them go off and do their thing. Um, so we went on safari, that was fun, we talked a bit. Really great, my first time actually meeting her in person, so we love meeting internet friends in real life. Uh, but we are headed to Satuli because now it's like two o'clock and I'm really starting to get hungry. So I'm just gonna do a mobile order quick, just on my phone here, just while I'm walking over to Thule. That means hopefully it'll be ready by the time I get there. Okay, so I just got the kids' chicken bowl. It's what I always get with a Coke here. Looks delicious as always, and we're just gonna eat it up. I did do mobile order. That seemed to really be the only option here, so if you do wanna come here, make sure you're ready with the mobile order. I've decided to go play some of the carnival games in Dinoland because I really want one of the dinosaurs. This may be a very tragic mistake um, and a terrible choice because <laughs> I am very terrible at these carnival games, but I really want a dinosaur. <laughs> so I played two games. Um, I played a water shooting one, which went absolutely terribly. I lost very dramatically. And then I played one where you throw like little balls in a hole, whatever color it gets in, you either don't get anything or you get the corresponding prize. Or, sorry, you get four balls. And three of mine got in a prize slot. So I got a little Mickey and two dinosaurs, which is perfect because I only really wanted one. <laughs> so, um, this is great. <laughs> okay. R.I.P. me. Especially because this rain poncho has holes. What the heck? Okay. Wow, and here's still what? Oh, the neighbor of the bus. I like my feet That's a new banner they installed last night. It looks so good. Hello, Eeyore. How are you doing today? Did you manage to keep your tail on? You got it. Amazing. You have a great day. So pretty on Main Street. I really do love the castle. We got banners at the sides now too. I think these might be new also. Oh, of course we got that sponsorship by Citizen, it looks like. Okay, I'm not really into sitting in the direct sun, but um, that's the card we were dealt today, I guess. So, I got the cream cheese pretzel. It's a lot smaller than I thought. It was like $7, so it better be good. Um, but they did make an extra one of these. I didn't order it, but they asked me if I wanted it for free. Because I had an extra, so I said yes. I think it's like a Coke slushy or something. I'm not sure, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, cream cheese pretzel. This better be good. This is so expensive for absolutely no reason. It is pretty good. For seven dollars, not even a little bit, but. I give that a solid like 5 out of 10. It was very underwhelming. Um, I've had better pretzels at like Auntie Annie's Mall or Wetzel's Pretzels here or whatever or a lot better. So. Overall very underwhelming. Definitely not worth the price. Um, really don't recommend to be honest. I think we're starting to see the beginning of the Labor Day crowds today. Also, today's the Thursday before Labor Day. I've noticed a lot of big groups. Wearing, you know, like the family shirts, the great big family. You can tell they're like a big, big family group. Um, of like 10, 12 plus people just sitting in Tomorrowland and I saw at least like five or six of them just in the 10 minutes I was there. So I'm walking from Magic Kingdom to the Polynesian. Well, we'll do the Grand Floridian first and then to the Polynesian. Which might be a gigantic mistake. We'll see. So I just ran into a family and they were like, is there power at Magic Kingdom? Because like I'm walking from Magic Kingdom here and I was like, 
yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? And they were like, um, well, the Grand Floridian doesn't have power. And neither does the Polynesian. And I was like, oh, so that's why the monorail's down. Um, I guess there's no, I, I don't know, knock the power, but we're gonna go find out, I guess. Okay, I'm on my phone now, um, cause I'm holding my charger while I'm doing it. But apparently the power is out here at the Contemporary and the Polynesian. From what I've heard, Magic Kingdom might even be running on a generator. Um, cause it was working when I was there, but who knows what's up. Um, but yeah, this is my view. So yeah, everything that's on with power right now is backup energy. Um, so I am just in the lobby. Yeah, so like Basin, all of those shops over there are closed currently. This looks open now. It's raining now. It's quite nice. I kind of found what I was looking for. Um, my parents are doing a Hawaii trip, so it was for like souvenirs to get them. I was looking to get them something Alani-ish. So um, I think I found some good stuff for them. I hope they really like it. So of course, right as um, I got on the boat there, which took forever to get there, but right as I got on the boat, this started. It is absolutely pouring. I got a weather statement alert that said there might be hail, um, thunder, lightning. It's definitely gonna be a big storm. I'm standing under here though. I mean, like, there's no one really here, so I'm okay with it. If you go under there, there's like a lot of people who are not socially distanced and just standing there, so don't recommend that. Um, but. You know, I'm standing up here and I'm dry, or you could just like do that. Um, and it's fine, my socks are a little wet, but other than that I'm okay. There we go, everything looks so pretty now. It's still drizzling a little bit, but all the lights are on, which yeah, is kind of cool. Nice the Astro Arbiter is going, that means the People Mover is going. It's fun to to hopefully ride Thunder Mountain. It's 8 o'clock right now, so the fireworks start at 8.45. Um, I'm not going to be watching the fireworks on Main Street or like not in the center if I do, just because I can't um, deal with those crowds. Um, just like mental brain stuff, um, I, I just can't do it. So I'm probably going to watch it from Frontierland or like the bridge to Adventureland or something like that, um, but I just can't deal alone in those paths, so um, I wish I could, but that's just not how life works, so um, yeah, we're just on our way to Frontierland right now, and hopefully going to ride Thunder Mountain before we see the fireworks. So like this, to sit and wait for the fireworks in this would be a lot for me. There's just a lot of people. And it really does also go back to like why I require the DAS Pass and need to use that um, and have been using that on this trip. Um, and unfortunately it is something that I wish I did not have to do um, because trust me, it's terrible. Because it's terrible to have any sort of like mental health disorder and stuff. Um, and it's not fun and I get to skip the lines, but at the same time I don't because I'm just waiting in them differently. So since this is going to be my last happily ever after, I do want to watch a camera free, so I'm going to get a Dole Whip, get a spot in front of the castle, or surrounding-ish the castle, more like the Adventureland Bridge, and we're going to watch it.